thing is that right? Signs of life returning to Sac State as incoming Hornets find their bearings on campus. A lot of walking, a lot of walking. I probably won't be wearing uh, flip flops, I'll be wearing my shoes. 18 year old Jennifer Didickson saying goodbye to her Montana home. It's going to be weird. Have you ever been this far away from home before? No. <laughs> With her mom learning to let go. This is pretty far away, and so we're a little bit nervous dropping her off. Moving day begins tomorrow morning with finishing touches down to the wire at brand new Riverview Hall. But the fall semester also brings a serious tone. Sac State understanding the college experience is shaped by tensions outside campus. University yeah, President know, Robert Nelson declaring a hate free campus in online. response to Charlottesville's deadly violence. Campuses, yes, they try to be places that are safe and secure, but I don't think they step up forward and define what it means to be hate free and have those conversations. Incoming freshmen like Shannon Nancy Swanson going a step further. Stand up against racism. Stand up against ignorance and stand up against outright hatred. The class of 2021 writing a letter of support to University of Virginia's incoming freshmen. I can't imagine going through this change in your life with that on top of it. And I just wanted them to know that there's a group of people in Sacramento who want to try to understand what they're going through. A call to action from Sacramento State's youngest students. At this critical moment in all of our lives, it is more important than ever to stand up for what is right. As they embark on their first chapter as an adult. Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.